Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lynette. For those of you new, I live in Sarasota, Florida with my husband Nick and our three children. And today's video I'm really excited about. I've been talking about making over our half bathroom in the downstairs for a long time. We've lived here for about a year and a half and it was very boring. There was no trim in it. It was just the way it was when we moved in pretty much. So I'm really excited to be able to get this thing done and I just wanted to take you along with us as we kind of go through the whole process and I'll try to explain things as I go. Hopefully it'll make sense. Um, but our half bathroom is the only bathroom on the downstairs and it is the one that we use frequently. It gets a lot of traffic. It's also the one that guests use when they come here. So I'm very excited to be able to have one bathroom that's actually completely done and you know I can be proud of bringing guests in and whatnot I just I love making spaces over in my home so I really hope you enjoyed the video if you're new hit the subscribe button I would love that we share a lot of things related to home and family so without further ado I'm gonna get started and I really hope you enjoy it We got a hole in the wall. Why do you think about just filling the whole thing in with drywall? Is that going to be too That'd hard? That'd be the easiest. That'd be the easiest. I've got these up here, so I don't need an actual light fixture, which is sort of sad, but it also makes the process a little easier. So I'm just gonna stick with these and be done with it. We decided to put this sink and faucet on Facebook Marketplace for free if someone came and picked it up and that worked very nicely. He came within, I think a few hours at most and picked it up and took it home. So he was pretty happy and we were too. So the vanity I had ordered, I had to wait on for a couple weeks and it was somewhat mid-century modern. The legs were, you can't see them on here necessarily, but I'll show you here in a little bit. We were super bummed. Well, the first snag in our uh makeover the vanity just uh well it's been sitting here for a couple days we hadn't opened it i ordered it off of amazon but it was a pretty expensive vanity i kind of was a little picky with what i wanted and the bottom is cracked right there it's in the frame of it this thing's like completely off which you know you could work with that maybe but it's not square up here. There's a hole in the back, which whatever, you know, but I mean, you can't really ship a big thing like this all in one piece, in my opinion. I don't know. Here we go. I mean, now what do I do? Get something else. Super annoyed. So I was able to have it returned, which wasn't a big problem. In any case, we did find a vanity that we decided to go with. It was actually half the price and we just got it at Lowe's. Uh, the reason I went with this is because I thought that I could actually kind of rework it a little bit. The shape of it was what I wanted and we decided to just go with a floating one rather than try to order something online again. I just really didn't want to take the risk. I know that they ship them all put together like that a lot, or that's what one of my friends said, and I don't know, I just don't think it's a very good idea. But in any case, lesson learned. We just went with something local, but I still wanted, you know, more of a custom piece, and I decided I could probably try to work with this one. So that's what we did. I will show you in a little bit. So my plan is in here is to do a feature wall. It's gonna be a wood slat wall. That is my intention. We have not figured out exactly how we're going to be doing it, but I've seen these on Pinterest and Instagram and it kind of gave me the inspiration for the bathroom. So what I'm having Nick do now, or he decided to do himself, is just paint the back wall 
I wanted it to be black so that whatever shines through would be dark instead of white. And then the other, or like tan I guess, but the other walls here will then be painted white. That is my plan as of now. We'll see because sometimes my plans change. <laughs> So while we were waiting on the drywall to be done, Nick did get a guy to come and patch that hole for us. He just does a really, really good job. He's reasonable and he, Nick does not like to try and finish drywall himself. It's just kind of, I don't know, you can do it, but he'd rather not mess with it himself. So that's what we did. Suggestion, three sixteenth cap dot. 316, so 316 is what we're doing. Okay. So Nick just cut some pieces of wood here, some scrap wood that we had at home. We're still not sure on the material that we're using, but we're trying to figure out the spacing in between each and how wide we want them. And this definitely varies. So I'd say go according to your room size. I feel like the smaller the room, the smaller like the gap, but uh, that's going to be up to you if you are considering doing this. Um, I know that some of you might not be able to picture it yet as far as what exactly I'm talking about, but I'm pretty sure it's going to look really good once it's all done. Um, but I'll let him do the math because, no, me and math do not go together. <laughs> If you do have more questions for us, just let us know in the comments. We'll be able to help you. I'll get Nick to explain it a little better. Okay, checking in with you all again. It's been a little while. We had some delays. The drywalling is in the process. We're still waiting on it to be finished. We're getting ready to try to get started with our wood wall here. We picked up some birch MDF plywood at Home Depot. And I think at this point, I'm just gonna leave it natural. Hopefully it'll look like I'm picturing it. It'll look okay. I would rather not have to uh, like stain it or anything. So we're gonna see what happens. I'm not sure how it's gonna go yet because we're gonna have to rip all the pieces. We decided to do it this way because it's a lot cheaper. Um, we checked out a couple other options, but if you're looking to go the easy route, you could probably pick up, you know, some thinner slats we're that are ready to this. go before we start ripping. Right. Ripping. I mean, the $700 math he was doing for the, the pre-cut no, one. that was that... extreme. I was being a little extreme. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> See, I can never tell when he's being serious or not. I didn't do the math it myself. It would have been probably four or $500, I think. Okay, versus like $100 for right. these two. We're gonna have extra, but I do have some other projects that I can probably use it on, so I'm not too concerned about that, so. This is what it looks like. There goes nothing. <laughs> We've got our little table saw here. So he's gonna set up to the shop back. And he's got a fan blowing here because, well, Florida, you know, so. The process went a little bit easier than I actually expected. It wasn't all that bad, besides the fact that uh, it did make our backs a little tired. Uh, but we sort of did it in shifts. We didn't do it all at once, but it went pretty well. So don't get too discouraged if you are doing it. Just know that you're going to need to be patient and also just make sure, you know, you have good sharp blades and you have the second person to help you because I would say that is pretty crucial. You're going to need two people to do it because, you know, when you're feeding it out the one end, it'll just want to hang down and it needs to stay pretty level. And yeah, it works definitely the best with two people, so... All in all, it wasn't too bad. Nick did the hard part then as far as, I guess, maybe not the hard part, but he the, the tedious work of putting them on the wall. He ended up using a combination of liquid nails, construction adhesive, and like two inch bread nails or something like that. I looked up a lot of other tutorials and things on Pinterest and whatnot to see what other people did. And at first he was hoping he could just use the glue and maybe like one nail at the top and one at the bottom because obviously there would not really be a lot of studs to be able to hit anyway. But the glue did not dry fast enough so it would just like pop back out. So he finally ended up just putting in some nails like around the middle area. And I really don't mind it. Like I don't see it all that much anyway. And it is a bit more of a rustic feel anyway and I am fine with it. Now, if you are staining it, you could always, you know, fill the holes with wood filler, 
you know, and go that route. But since we're just leaving it natural, I have just left it at this point. And I actually, I really like it. I love the natural feel. I feel like it looks modern and it just completely, yeah, it kind of gave me the whole inspiration for this bathroom. And I'm just really excited to be able to have done this. And I'm just really thankful for a husband who put up with all of my ideas. This was not the easiest project in the world and we had several other little things come up along the way, but all in all, we got it done and we're thrilled with it. I get a lot of questions on what kind of paint I use and what color the white is that I use a lot in my home. It is the Bare Ultra Paint and Primer and it's just your regular ultra pure white. It's just off the shelf, not tinted. I do have some other like Simply White in my house by Benjamin Ward that I color match to Bare because I love Bare paint. Um, but this is usually what I use uh, lately. So I love being able to try new things, whether that's food or new places or new skills or designs, even here at home, uh, which brings me to this. I wanna thank Skillshare for sponsoring the video today. They have been a great resource for me and they offer thousands of online classes that you can take right from your home. Most of them are under 60 minutes at that. I took a class by Emily Henderson a while ago. It was called Style Your Space and she has so much helpful information in that thing. Plus I took quite a few other things as well, but there is so much variety on Skillshare. They have pretty much any subject you can think of. And so the first 1000 people to use this link that I have in my description box will get a two month free trial of the Skillshare premium membership, which is really, really amazing, honestly. And if you don't feel like it's for you, you can always cancel it after that. But their plans are right around like $10 a month or something. They, that's where they start. And so I just feel like it's a great resource if you're looking for, you know, going in depth on a certain subject or whatever. So I definitely highly recommend them. So go click the link in my description box if you are interested. Our vanity has quite a story behind it. It's made of like melamine or it has that, you know, covering on it and so it's not real wood and I knew that that could be a problem to get paint to adhere to it. So I had to try a bunch of different things. I was initially going to paint it black and have gold hardware and I decided to try like a shellac and then a paint primer sprayer along with some black spray paint just to see, you know, if that would adhere. In the end, it didn't. I kind of sanded it, roughed it up a little bit, and I ended up using like a white paint and primer in one paint, just kind of like the Zinsser spray paint, but in the paint form. And I kind of like started over. And by that point, I figured out that spray painting was not gonna work. So I mixed up some paint that I had on hand. I had some olive as a base, and then I just added a little bit more like blue to it and some white to kind of lighten it up a little bit. And it seems to work, I think, but I am not gonna have like a detailed explanation of how I did it because I honestly don't know how it'll hold up in the long run, but I decided to go with olive and I'm really, really glad I did. I just hadn't been sure if I wanted to as far as, you know, with the rest of my house, but I love it and it's just, it's perfect. So it kind of had, went through quite the transformation to get it to where it is now, but hopefully it'll work. Okay, after much deliberating and painting and stressing over the vanity, I think we're finally ready to hang it. Uh, knock on wood. <laughs> knock gonna... on no wood. <laughs> knock on no wood. wood. <laughs> There's one stud in the wall, basically, that is available for this vanity. And I thought about adding legs to it, but we really want to get it hung because we have friends coming this weekend. So he's going to try and make it work with one stud. I'm not responsible for this. This 
So you're gonna see a lot of different outfit changes because this has been done over a period of time. But um, Nick actually was able to hit some wood here in the cabinet, I think down at the bottom. Somehow, he doesn't know how or why or whatever, but he did. Uh, so we're getting ready to put the top on now just to kind of set things in place once to see how it'll look. So I went with new hardware for the drawers just because I thought I could work with the old style but I would have had to spray paint it again and I kind of like this style better so this is from Home Depot and it worked out really well. I decided I would try to hang the door myself because, you know, after all, we had it on before and it really shouldn't be a problem. We had the old jam in there and it, yeah, let's just say it didn't work. Uh, it took a lot more force than what I was able to give it. <laughs> when you're working with old stuff, it could definitely pose a problem. But yeah, Nick had to kind of use some extra long screws and give it a lot of oomph in order to get it back to how it had been before. So. Anyway, it was a good try on my end, I suppose, but it, it didn't work out, so. I wanted something above the toilet instead of just a picture, so I decided to put a shelf there, and this is just cut out of some wood we had on hand. I think it's cypress wood that we used in the laundry room, and the brackets were some that I had on hand myself. So yeah, we're mounting the towel holder and the brackets. We did have to use some anchor type screws, so do keep that in mind. If you don't have any studs, you may have to get some of those types to be able to hang it and properly, you know, hold weight. In case you're wondering where I got my macrame plant hangers, I'm honestly not sure, but I'm thinking it was Amazon. I may have them linked in my store, and if not, I will try to remember to look for a link for you, but you can also always just Google it or, you know, search for it on Amazon or something. But yeah, you can find these pretty readily. All right, guys, this is it. I am so excited to show you the final reveal. I absolutely love it, you guys. I will try to give you a little bit of a tour and tell you where things are from. Um, all right, starting here with the door. We had these doors before, so I, we put these on like when we moved in. So this is one that comes from, I think, Lowe's. And these are quick set handles. I just had ordered them, I think, off of Amazon. So beginning over here by the vanity, this mirror is from Target. I bought it online, so I don't think they sell it in stores, but I do believe it is a 22 or 24 inch maybe, something like that. Um, the faucet is also from Lowe's. It is a jacuzzi brand and they did have really good reviews on them on their website, so we are gonna try it out we can let you know how it holds up. <laughs> I have the black towel holder, which is from Hobby Lobby. I spray painted it because it was sort of a, I don't know, burnished brass type of color. 
and I do have like this toilet paper holder here as well as some black you know on my shelf here with the brackets and the picture itself but I feel like it all just ties together well so as far as the vanity itself it is obviously a color that I can't really give to you guys because I mixed some of my own but I do have a bunch left over so I can always you know use that for touch up or I could go have them repeat it in the store if I'd really need to so it is just a really nice olive green color I love it and I did buy the hardware at Home Depot. One other thing I wanted to point out is there are drawers in this thing and this is just like a half drawer so that worked out well. We had to cut out a bit of the bottom shelf in the back there because of the pipe so just be wary you might have to do that but I think this whole vanity was like 250 maybe so really not bad. Typically I would have had the boys brush their teeth downstairs but I think I'm going to try to keep it upstairs for now just because I don't know how this thing will hold up if it you know gets a beating on a daily basis <laughs> uh, I tried a lot of different stuff but we'll see um, and then the bottom drawer is a bigger one but like I said it's just cut out of the back which is fine so I will try to link everything in my description box if you're wanting resources and that sort of thing the towel here is also a little bit of green it's technically a kitchen towel, but I am going to use it. I'm sure it's going to get dirty, so we'll have probably multiple towels in here. But it did come from Target, as well as this little orange vase. I had used it in my laundry room. You will see some repeats throughout my house because even for like the art, I basically ended up shopping my own house. I bought a few pieces, but then I ended up not really liking them in here. And I'm not positive it'll actually stay this way. I do tend to move things around quite a bit, so don't be surprised if this changes. <laughs> this black one here is from Decenio. I got the picture frame at Target. I just thought that way it can kind of tie in with my vanity, bring in the green. I do need to get some updated pictures printed. I am terrible at printing pictures anymore. I used to do it a lot, but I really don't anymore, and so I need to get a new uh, updated one but nonetheless I really like this one this was like several years ago with me and the boys so I did pick up this succulent plant I will have to take them outside but at this point I don't really care because I love having real plants in here and I feel like it just livens up the space and it's not far to take them outside so I'm happy to do that uh, as far as the wall itself I am still very much in love with it and I do hope that it gives you guys some inspiration if you're looking for some. You could definitely stain it if you wanted to. I've seen it painted. Uh, it would just be a lot more labor, but if you're wanting that look, definitely go for it. I am just really enjoying it a lot. I feel like it just adds something and I decided to not put anything on the wall because that is kind of, you know, the statement piece of the room and I feel like it's busy enough. So. As far as this art over here, I think this is from Phi, and I ordered it last fall, so I think that is where that one is from. And this variety of pothos is one that I really like. I don't know the exact name of it, and I haven't been able to find a lot of it since, but I do really like it. And I think this one used to be a container from Target. I do like having a little shelf here. At one point I thought I would maybe like do a continuous one all the way across, but there wasn't enough clearance between the faucet and the wall, so I just went with one above the toilet. I do have a little um, platter, I don't know what you call it, bathroom type of thing that I found at Home Goods the other day. They're pretty selected right now, um, but this is one thing that I did find and I really like it. So I really should get a candle, but I actually don't have any on hand right now, so. It's just a little bare, um, but yeah, I really, I really, really am enjoying this space and it just makes me happy. And we're finally getting close to being done downstairs. That's pretty incredible. I'm pretty excited about that. I got this toilet paper holder at Target. It is the Hearth and Hand collection. Um, we'll see how I like it. I used to have one in Ohio, but it was a bit more chunky, so I don't know how we'll end up liking this, but this is what I'm going with for now. And I'll also put a little trash basket here. So I just didn't put it in for the sake of the video because you know, not everyone wants to look at a trash can. But um, 
that is pretty much what I have as far as, you know, necessities and just your basic things that are necessary in a bathroom. I do have a toilet bowl holder in the back there. Not extremely glamorous, but you know, it's things that we need to keep the bathroom clean. I was gonna put a rug in here, but in the end, it was a bit of an awkward space and I had bought one, but it was too big. And I decided, you know what, it's going to be a little impractical anyway because it's such a high traffic area so it's prone to get dirty and it'll get moved around and it might just be in the way anyway. So I'm just skipping it for now and I think it'll be fine. Alright, that is it. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. I know it's probably not everyone's style but I truly love it. I feel like it just fits me, it fits the house and it just fits what I'm trying to kind of accomplish throughout you know the house i like to have things kind of cohesive and this is just a little bit something different and yet it is sticking to my kind of neutral color palette if you will but i'm gonna end the video i know it's been a long one i do hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for sticking around if you're new hit the subscribe button i would love that all right you guys i will see you in my next one be blessed